everyone, this is Fabriello and welcome back and today we have to celebrate. We have to celebrate the legacy and the anniversary of a great game, a game that had a massive impact on the entire industry and it's considered to be the most important first person shooter game of all time. I'm talking of course about Doom, which is probably my favorite first person shooter games ever. Um, we know that we know the story of the release of Zoom by software, of course, and was the first public version, playable version of Zoom was uploaded on a server at the University of Wisconsin on December tenth, nineteen ninety three. And what is amazing about this, it's just a couple of minutes later, minutes, due to the massive number of people downloading the game, the system crashed, and this is unbelievable because we're talking about nineteen ninety three. A time where the internet was only at the beginning, and yet people managed to crash the system. I always love the story. Doom is considered to be a very important game, probably the most important game as a first person shooter. And what I have to add is also that people usually consider Goldeneye on the Nintendo 64 to be like the first great first person shooter on consoles. But I say that probably Doom did this before it. I mean, Doom was amazing on consoles. Personally, I played the Super Nintendo version, but there were so many different on all possible consoles. Just talking about older consoles, there was, of course, a Super Nintendo, as I said, it was on the Sega Genesis, on the 32X, on the Atari Jaguar, yeah, it's considered the best console version almost as close as the PC, even though it's famous for like missing the music. That's weird. It was a version on the 3DO, more modern um, port on the Sega Saturn or on the N64, called Doom 64. And this is just, uh, on the Game Boy Advance there was even a, a port of Doom, I can barely think about the portable version of it, but still, pretty impressive. And of course, there are newer versions on the Xbox 360 and PS3, I believe. So, Doom was everywhere back then. And in order to celebrate its anniversary, um, since I don't have my copy of Doom with me, of course, and I cannot show any part of the game or anything, I decided to show my personal memories of playing Doom for the first time back then in the mid 90s and the impact that it had on me. Since back then, um, I got my Super Nintendo like a year or a couple of years before, and we're talking about 94, 95? I don't remember when it was released exactly on Super Nintendo in Europe, but it was something like that. I mean, like mid-90s, before the PlayStation and everything, of course. And also, it's interesting, and let's talk about that later. Um, and I remember I went to a friend's house, and he had the Super Nintendo just like me. Um, first, actually, we played some Nintendos yet, and I remember we played Battletoads and other amazing games. But after a while, we decided like it's time to play the Super Nintendo. Let's get serious. And I remember it was like choose the game, whatever you want to play. And I was looking at its collection, and the thing that struck me back then was I saw this red cartridge. Wow, what is this? Because I knew that the only that it I never saw anything like that, and that definitely caught my attention. You know, that's the point of like um, cartridge with another color, like for example Zelda on the NES was gold, um, Killer Instinct on Super Nintendo was black, and Doom, um, probably just the North American version or just some version of it. Um, was red, and I remember I saw this red cartridge. I knew it was an important game because of the shape of the cartridge. And look at it, this Doom. What is this? It's, this looks very intense, it's really cool. Because you know the, the art of the cover of Doom with the tough guy shooting this demon looking aliens. I mean, it was so cool just looking at the cover. This looks cool, let's play this. And the moment we start playing, I was just blow away but everything well the music on the Super Nintendo was nothing incredible but back then it was fascinating I mean I was used to different kind of music like Mario 
and others do on the other hand it was just more rock if it makes sense if have, or heavy metal or something not really on the Super Nintendo but still it was very good in its way and the graphics was also really really different really cool I mean we know that Doom just like Star Fox used the FX chip so it gives him these 3D graphics and it always was a very cruel effect to have on your Super Nintendo, so it makes it more uh, versatile, I think, than other consoles at the time. And we started playing, and I couldn't believe how amazing it was. Um, going around, shooting this monster, it was very, sometimes it was very creepy music, it was very atmospheric, we were so tense. We played, I think, for something like six, seven hours. We just played Doom all day, and it was unbelievable. And that was my first experience playing Doom. And again, I remember we at first we sucked, of course, because I wasn't used to playing on a first-person shooter on console. That was the big thing. I played some first-person shooter back then on PC, but I've always been a, mainly a console gamer. I had some games on my PC, but meh, I prefer consoles. And it was like there were some genres of games like um, real time strategy and first person shooters that were like were just better on PCs. And I remember a friend of mine, another one, uh, who is a big PC gamer on the other hand, always like said that oh well PCs are better than consoles. So look at first person shooters, they're much better. Then, like a couple of days later, since we went, all of us went to the same school. I say, "Oh well, you know what? Fuck PC. <laughs> I got, I played Doom on Super Nintendo. It was incredible." A couple of months later, I begged my parents, or it was my grandparents. I don't remember. I begged someone in my family to buy me a copy of Doom, of course. And incredible enough, I managed to get my hands on a copy of it, and I love it. Even though, like. I already played, but I didn't care. Like I would, now, I was playing by myself in my basement, like with all the lights turned off. Um, got this sort of new experience of playing Doom by myself with the volume of the TV cranked up, <laughs> like over the top. A kind of big TV at the time, and just playing Doom was amazing. I remember. And, was such a great gaming experience like going around these levels with creepy music, discover the secrets in the levels, um, fighting the bosses. I remember like my favorite being the Minotaur guys, but also I remember I was not scared, but also always found some elements of Doom very creepy, uh, especially because of the music. The music in this game is amazing, and I think that it's made very well on the Super Nintendo. Um, other enemies I remember it was very kind of laughing in a laugh in a funny way always fun amazing the big like brains with one eye that shoot fireballs I was like oh what is that but it's amazing I love this game so much and I wanted to share this memory with you guys in order to celebrate this great game that had a big impact on me because thanks to Doom I started to enjoy first person shooters even though for a long time, this was the only one that I had on consoles until I, on the PlayStation, I started to play Medal of Honor. It was a great game, and others on other consoles. So I, but I didn't own, as you know, the Nintendo 64. And it's funny that the same friend uh, who showed me Doom for the first time was the only one that I knew back then who owned an N64. And it's amazing that he showed me a couple of shooters on um, first-person shooters on the system, like GoldenEye, of course. And especially uh, one evening, I remember call you have to come over here, and we played Doom 64, right? a sort of celebration. And we start talking about the memories of playing Doom back then on the Super Nintendo. Like it moved, it, it like it wasn't it wasn't on the same house. It moved, and but it was so nostalgic playing Doom 64 because we start talking you remember when you play on the Super Nintendo we were so young back then we were blew away by the graphics but look at this on the N64 it's so cooler it was very 
a very interesting and nostalgic experience at the same time due to the amazing capabilities of the N64 but also playing the same game with the same friend it was a great experience obviously we obviously we had so much fun playing Doom 64 he showed me also another game like he always loves first person shooters too, like Turok 2 um, this is called GoldenEye and something else, but I can't remember. Maybe Quake, I think. I'm not sure, but anyways, I just wanted to share these memories in order to celebrate the legacy of Doom. That it's still, I'll say that mainly for nostalgia, it's still my favorite first-person shooter. Even though the genre is not my favorite, as you know, I'm more of an RPG kind of guy. But first-person shooters sometimes they're really fun to play, especially with friends. But get a copy of Doom. Especially older ones, I don't know, like Super Nintendo, N64, um, Sega Saturn, whatever you want. There's, as I told you, millions of Doom versions on every console, and have fun with it because it's great, classic first-person shooters. As I said, it's probably my favorite, and the most amazing thing is that still today, every time I go home where my Super Nintendo is, um, I always always play Doom at least for like half an hour, one hour, just for the fun of it, just to remember those great emotions that I had when I played for the first time, listen to the music for some levels, going around with the shotgun, with the chainsaw, and kill monsters. I mean, that's a great game with great memories, and that's what gaming is about, having, having fun, and great and fun memories. And with this said, uh, said thanks for watching guys, as always. Leave comments, video responses, whatever you want to share your memories playing Doom and to keep celebrating this amazing game that had a massive impact on the industry and a big impact even on me, even though first person shooters were never my favorite games. So with that say, thanks for watching guys and take care.